Hey everybody, this is MVArts. Today a quick tutorial on how to animate falling objects. Then I show you how to copy your animation and fairly easy randomize the two falling objects. In this scene I have a cap that is parented to an empty. The empty is placed at the cap's natural pivot point. Then there is this cord. This is attached to the empty with a hook modifier. To do this, select the empty, then the cord and go into edit mode. Select the vertex you want to hook and use the short key Ctrl H. Choose hook to selected object. Let's start animating the empty. For now I'm only going to worry about two transformations. The Z location and the X rotation. For the Z location set the few keyframes to simulate the bouncing fall. Don't worry about the timing just yet. In my case I choose to have a cord that can be stretched a little. Keep in mind though that the hook modifier will stretch out your UVs as well. Now we're going to set a few keyframes for the X rotation. We want this to have a nice drag when the cap falls down. We're going to head into the graph editor. To manipulate the keys and handles, try using the same short keys as for manipulating objects in the viewport. So G, R and S. Another tip when using the graph editor is to hide the rest of the graphs. Select the one you need and hit Shift H. With A you can select all the handles, with numpad 0 you zoom to fit the graph. Next, build in some overshoots in the X rotation. In this case I simply use rotation and scale for this. Start to adjust the timing and spacing to suit your scene. From here we could go on and manually animate the rest of the transforms. But we want to set this up so we can easily duplicate the objects and adjust some of the settings to get a slightly different result. We're gonna set a keyframe for the Y rotation. Set it to 0.1. Go to the end of your animation and set a keyframe to zero. This will get clear in just a moment. Select the Y rotation on the left in the graph editor. In the end menu add a modifier and select the noise modifier. By default this is set to replace the keyframes. Change the replace setting to multiply. Now we've animated the influence of the noise modifier. You can adjust the frequency of the graph here. Also you can play with the amplitude here to get a stronger effect. Do this for the rest of the transforms as well. The last thing I want to do is give the rotational keyframes an offset in the timeline. To avoid that the motion cuts off too harsh. It is very easy to get this animation applied to a new object. Simply duplicate the object by pressing Shift D. Shift them to the side, but be careful to type a whole number. As you can see when I play it back. The empty snaps back to the animated position. To fix this, open the object tab and unfold the delta transforms. Add the same whole number to the X location delta. Now we got two identical falling objects. To give them some variation, open the graph editor again. We want to edit these settings to adjust the seed of the noise and the time offset. Do this for all the noise modifiers. The last two things we can do here, in the object tab, Adjust the delta rotations to get a different look. Then go into edit mode and for example shift the cap to a side. Now all I have to do is align the camera and we're done. If everything went well you've ended up with nice looking falling object. For the purpose of this tutorial I only took it this far. But take the time to polish your animation. As always thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more content in the future, subscribe to the channel. Also check out these other videos you might like. Ciao!